Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. A lot of uh, things are coming up about this uh, disbursement that is going to ensue next week. Now, in this uh, update, we are going to go through the, the beneficiaries that will receive and the beneficiaries that will not receive. You know, generally, the number of beneficiaries that will receive this money are very few, extremely few. And in that few, few, there are still people that they are not going to receive, still among those people that are supposed to receive. So just listen to, to this For update. The of beneficiaries that will receive a lot in this disbursement and those audience of beneficiaries that will never receive a lot till the end of this disbursement. One, those who are using one account number to receive disbursement multiple times in one NGO. Now, the way this thing is being sound, as if they are committed a crime, they are not. They are trying to be, be fair. You submit your bank account, uh, they do not have this criminal mind to submit multiple bank accounts. And those who are retaining online accounts despite the directive for them to change in their different NGOs. If you look across platforms currently, you notice that some subscribers are still asking NGOs to disperse all their bundle slots, all their beneficiary slots into just one account. Someone have 10 and 20 bundles in a, a given NGO and is submitting just one account number to receive disbursement 10 times. There is a rule, although it's going to be made public by the grant handler, to the awareness of all grant subscribers. There is the directive from the EFCC and other financial regulatory bodies, the NFIU, that no single beneficiary in this country should receive disbursement more than one times in one NGO with just one account name. That implies you need to spread your account name in different NGO if you must return only that account name to benefit from this grant. So you can't submit just one account name even though it is from different banks. It is still your own account name. For example, you are Messi Abdul Zenith Bank. You can use Messi Abdul in UBA in that same NGO or okay. Messi Abdul in Eco Bank, Fidelity, First Bank or FCMB in that same NGO because okay. that is what the statement reveals. Messi Abdul, you have to split and bring in the account details of either your siblings, your daughter, your son or your brothers and relatives in five times or ten times corresponding to the number of bundle slots that you apply for. Okay. These are all your people. It's about you having negotiation with them. They don't... Now, this negotiation is talking about... Now, let me just break it down because things are not being said. They just put things vaguely. Initially, the money was supposed to be 5 million and the, the NGOs told people out of that 5 million, they will put 5 million into your account. You will take 1 million. You will give them 4 million. That was the initial arrangement that was done. Then when I was saying this, some people were saying, ah, keep quiet. Why are you saying this? Why are you saying this? Now things are opening up. Then second, when the money was reduced to 3 million, then I said, okay, you will still take 1, 1 million. Give us 2 million. When the money was reduced to 300,000, they were telling beneficiaries uh, that you will give them 50,000. You take 50,000, you will give your, the NGO 250,000. Because what was done at the beginning is that NGO came into churches, mocks, business place, shared account number and collected people's ATM. So when the money comes, they will remove their own and give you your own. The money was being reduced, a new arrangement was being made. The final arrangement that was made by some NGOs with beneficiaries that when 300,000 Naira comes, you take 50,000, you give us 250,000. Some kept quiet <laughs> that when the money reaches our account, you will see how you will collect it. Why some agreed? Now with this new arrangement of 100,000, you mean now I give my account for you to put in 100,000 and when it comes, 
you will now tell me i will collect twenty thousand i will give you eighty thousand that's with the new arrangement of some people but that is unfair technically speaking this money is for beneficiaries see fraud now he was calling efcc into this you are calling efcc into this you are calling a uh, ntin nfiu into this when there's a crime being committed this money is meant for beneficiaries you collected their account number and now you are telling them now that they will, you will give them 20 percent they will give you 80 percent whereas the money initially is meant for them so have you seen the, the, the criminality this on Olivia man is trying to promote? Not only him. This is the criminal act that the NGO and the Bordeaux heads are perpetuating in this grant disbursement affair. So you, 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 see, you see why many, many, many of, 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 of these uh, uh, agitators are angry, like Prince uh, and uh, Admin and the rest. They are beneficiaries, but they are being such changed. So you see why they are angry. Let's continue. Pay for this disbursement. You are just using the account details as a placeholder. People you see somebody, you say, you say he's using account details as a placeholder. This is the money that is supposed to be meant for that particular beneficiary. You are not telling the, the, the anyway, let's rewind it so that you hear, you hear what he's saying in full. We'll comment on it later. That implies you need to spread your account name in different NGO if you must return only that account name to benefit from this grant. So you can't submit just one account name, even though it is from different banks, it is still your own account name. For example, you are Messi Abdul, Zenith Bank. You can use Messi Abdul in UBA in that same NGO or Messi Abdul in Eco Bank, Fidelity, First Bank or FCMB in that same NGO because that is what the statement reveals. Messi Abdul, you have to split and bring in the account details of either your siblings, your daughter, your son or your brothers and relatives okay. in five times or ten As times. What? Corresponding to the number of bundles lost as placeholder or beneficiary, these are all your people it's about you having negotiation with them. Okay, they don't pay for this disbursement, you are just using the account details as a placeholder. Okay, is now placeholder, not beneficiary. Okay, 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 Friends will not deny you what you struggle to gather all this years. They are your relative, they are believe they will show understanding and consideration. Since they have conscience, mm -hmm. when this money is disbursed to their account on your behalf, mm -hmm. therefore no need of still that. So the the money is disbursed in their account on your behalf. They are now placeholders, and if they have conscience, okay, you don't have conscience. Opting that they will not remit the money to you. All you need is to look at the percentage of this money that you use and equally empower them. Remember, this grant is not to be domiciled by just one or certain set of people. Okay. It needs to be shared, it needs to be distributed, it needs to be circulated to all cadres of societal dwellers for the benefit of all. Okay. Just like the progenitors of this grant anticipated. Okay. A black society where everyone sees resources to develop and expand their lives. Yes, Therefore, see resources to develop and expand their lives with 100,000 and in that 100,000, you collect 80,000, you leave you with 20,000. Okay. Don't submit one account details to, to receive disbursement multiple times in one NGO. Seek back at your church place, your mosque, your workplace, get account details of your friends, your relatives, your workmates, get the account details and scatter it across all this NGO. Well, please note, I'm not saying one account name cannot receive disbursement in different NGO. Only in one NGO you can't receive multiple times. But you can use that same account name in another NGO, in five NGO, ten NGO, and still receive disbursement. That is your constitutional right. Imagine your constitutional right. Who makes this constitutional? Who makes this fraud constitutional? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! The grand community have really, have really, have really taken advantage of Nigerian masses.
they have really taken advantage. More on this aspect will be revealed to you in the directives and the MOUs that will be published by the Grand Sandler in the public space. Then, the second audience of subscribers that will not receive this disbursement. The subscribers that will not receive uh, this disbursement will take it in the next uh, video. So, in the next video, we'll do these are technically the subscribers that will receive the disbursement at 100,000, then they will be asked to return 80,000. Then, those that will not even receive 100,000, let alone 20,000, will treat it on the next video. Bye for now. This is laughable. It's a serious issue. I suppose not to laugh, but it's very laughable. It's very, very laughable. See you on our next update, guys. Bye.